The views and opinions expressed on Dojo Drifter Live are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of Wusa Studios, its management, or other hosts or advertisers. The shows produced by Wusa Studios can promote any lifestyle, belief, religion, political affiliation, or other personal practice. These shows are for entertainment purposes only and might include strong themes, images, sex, or language that may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from Wusa Studios in Pasig City, Philippines. That's right, guys. This is Dojo Drifter Live, the first and only MMA podcast here in Asia. Uh, what's up? This is Gab. I'm Audrey. I'm Spanky. You're and we are quite here. Sick, Spanky. I am sick. Yeah, man. But here's the But number. he's still here. Yeah. That's yes. what's supported, right? Hey guys, Respect. we're here to give you the latest and hottest headlines from the MMA world and from right here in the Philippines. All right, so to g get the show off started, contact us. Uh, mm -hmm. The phone lines are open. The it's Twitter open. feed is open. open. You could uh, just use the hashtag Dojo Drifter Live or tweet us directly at Dojo underscore Drifter. And of course, we have a challenge today for our phone lines. Mm -hmm. Call us up at 631-2264 and wait for a surprise from Spanky Uino. Kung mangyari. Kung mangyari. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. We'll get colors. Are we, do we tell them now? Surprise daw sa abri OG. Surprise and then Ikaw, ayaw. Oh, sige. Oh, sige. Ito, ito, for go. every caller. The gauntlet. The gauntlet. The gauntlet I hope down. someone's tuned in kasi I would feel so stupid <laughs> if <laughs> no one would call. But ganun, it's life. Uh. So for every caller, na kahit walang sense. Okay, I'm throwing it out there. For every caller, successful caller, I'll do five push-ups. So five push-ups from Spanky for every caller Let's that calls in the show. Let's make hundred guys. No. Yeah, come on, no, no. come on. Right here. <laughs> so again, we are Dojo Drifter. We bring you all of the hottest MMA news in the world right now. So yes. if you have any reactions, anything you want to talk about that's Don't related call. to MMA, Call us at 631-2264 or tweet us at dojo underscore drifter. Yes. Hindi included yung Twitter or Skype ha, or Sa Facebook. Ha. Sa push e parang, oh, post na ako. Push up. <laughs> no, dude. Call. Oh, by the way. Effort. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Facebook and Twitter, uh, we have a question of the day ready for today. Uh, so if you have any reactions to the questions uh, or answers to the questions, just tweet us or uh, um, yeah. type it in onto Facebook. It's the question of the day is what do you think of USC, uh, you have UFC's plans on invading Asia? Tweet us your answers, guys. Opinions. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. UFC's been very, very aggressive yeah. in Asia lately, and so yeah. is One FC. So it's pretty interesting down in the South re recently. So yeah, yeah, we'll see what happens. Tweet us what you think about it. <coughs> All right. So Respect. Let's start. Oh, oh, by the way, we have a giveaway. We have a giveaway yeah. for today. We have today. a giveaway? Yes. Giveaways. Look at this. We got some. Uh, Polo shirts from uh, what is Coral Brazil Coral. Fight Club. Mm. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll check it out. Check it out the back one. We're giving these what? out. We have a bunch of these in white and black. So we just want to give it out black. to you callers yep. and test your MMA trivia. And yes. remember, if you call, get a polo and a show. Yeah, hey, but also <laughs> to get the polo, you got to answer some <laughs> yeah. trivia yeah, questions. Yeah, yeah. You know, catch. MMA. Yeah. Yep, you'll, uh, you'll be facing off against. Spanky oh, okay. and his prowess and his MMA knowledge. So Let's just see, go call in the show 6312264 and get a free polo <laughs> from Corral. All right. Solid. So to start the show, again, we usually start it with Dojo Drifter five rounds. Yes, five rounds of the hottest and latest MMA news in the world today from UFC, Bellator, 1FC, name it, everything MMA. Mm -hmm. So we need round girls, guys. <laughs> anyway, yeah, please. All right, so Gab, what's the first? What's the first? Oh, wait, I'll just throw this out there. Okay. Sorry. Go, go, go. Dude, these round girls, I bet they're doing nothing in between fights. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm hey, just man, saying, do honestly. You, do you follow uh, Red on uh, Instagram? Red is Army? He? Red yeah, Cruz? This is shout not shout Red out. Romero. No, no, no. <laughs> I, 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 I red <laughs> na ring girl. Yes, okay. yeah, man. These green girls, they got a lot of gigs between yeah, fights. Man. Modeling. Yeah, and I, bet I bet they're bored. So <laughs> come over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so shout out to Red. We'll tweet her. We'll tweet her. 
All right. Okay. So, okay. Let's start. Gab, are yeah, you guys. ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Jeez. Round one. Yeah, guys. Round one. We'll start round with the biggest one. news uh, for us uh, oh, Filipinos. It's the fact oh. that we now have a Filipino fighter in the UFC. Damn. Dave Galera. Legit. Has big, been big, big news. By the UFC. So that's a big news, man. Exactly. So basically, we scrapped uh, all of the rumors about. Huh. Yes. No, honestly, it's, it's yeah. been this confirmed. Is official word. It's, it's been confirmed. It's been confirmed. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we've reported that Roldan Sangchaan was going to be the first yeah, he was a link. Uh, Pinoy MMA fighter. Mm-hmm. But no, a yeah. surprise the announcement by the UFC and by Team Lakai. Yeah. Dave he's Galera. He's also from Team Lakai. Yeah. Yeah, beast, he's also from beast. Team Lakai, a URCC fighter, beast. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So Dave Galera, Dave he's Galera. a bantamweight from uh, Team Lakai. He will fight Royston Wee. A Singaporean. The on first Singaporean, Singaporean MMA Singaporean. UFC oh, fighter. So first, first Singaporean. First Pinoy. Bring it on. Yeah, there's it's a lot to of be a war. Yeah, yeah but uh, more on Dave Galera. I mean, he's he's got an impressive resume. Yeah, man, he's I've read five and zero. Oh, five, five and zero. Oh, oh, all two, finishes. Yeah, two knockouts and three submissions. So he's yeah. well rounded. Well, very very well rounded yeah. fighter, and of course, coming from Team Lakai. Uh, knowing that team, he's a beast. He's, he's, he's in yeah. it to bring it, man. Yeah, he's going to be a beast for sure. Yeah. All right. So, uh, but do your research, Dave. That's again, Dave Galera. Yeah, man, yeah Dave so Galera. He's the one with Google. the Gracie tattoo on his Gracie Jiu Jitsu tattoo on his chest. Oh, so you can't okay. miss Pretty him. Cool. Man. Uh, but just just to give it that, uh, just to bring give it out there. I mean, uh, it's been actually in mass media. It wasn't reported that much, but just to give you how big this news is, dude, it's like saying that you've got a Filipino born and raised player in the NBA. Yeah, I that's know. how big that's this news is yeah, for me. Uh. Yeah. I mean, uh, and no disrespect to guys like Mark Munoz and uh, ah yes, of course, of course, but Vera, but yung talagang galing. Yeah. It's like, it's like <laughs> yeah. you're yeah. the exactly, UFC, exactly. man. Yeah, I read exactly. somewhere though, na Phil Am ata siya, but uh, it's still, all good. man, fighting out of Team Lakai. It's all good. And all that. Yeah, he's homegrown. He's still, yeah, he's a homegrown. <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe by blood he's Phil Am, but uh, um, he's, he's, he, he's training here, uh, he's fighting yeah. here, he grew up here, he's in Baguio. So, you know, Dave Galera, props to that guy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, th- this just goes to show how how Filipinos are at par with with you know For other sure. countries, yeah. especially hey, in Asia. I was just thinking while you guys were talking, I can <laughs> in, in basketball, the uh, NBA, kung nari All Star Game, so mm-hmm. they have the different the different countries. Na you have Spain, Argentina, you know mm-hmm. these guys oh. commentating. Okay, yeah, yeah. We could be the first ones yeah. commentating in the UFC. Yeah. It oh, can hey, yeah, it can happen. An event here could happen. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I hope it does, man. If it yeah. if it does happen, UFC Philippines, yeah. we're uh, going to be there. We're gonna be there yeah. for sure. They know it's I actually want to go to the one in Singapore. Yeah, but yeah. yeah and the, on the on the Singapore card, we the opponent of uh, Galera is two and zero, oh, so he's solid. Also, both wins are by submission. Um, but his last fight was in two thousand eleven. So when I hear that, I'm kind of excited for Dave Galera because, mm-hmm. hey man, this guy is coming back from a hiatus. For sure, yeah. Yeah. play into exactly. Galera's favor. And mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, let's let's post that first Filipino UFC mm-hmm. win and let's do yeah, it. Yeah, that would be big, man. For sure. And we'll try okay. to get him in the show. Dave Galera. Yeah. Oh no, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't get, get us guests, man. I mean, you guys, uh, fighters who are upcoming. Hey, man. Another seat here. Yeah. We yeah, we'd love to have you, man. We'd yes. love to have you. Just, just tweet us or call us. Yeah, call us right now. Sure. And see Spanky. And push up. Bring it. Push up. Bring it. All right. Okay, let's move to let's round, move two. To round two. number round two. Round number yes, two. Sir. So this is uh, news push from the ups. states of Rusimar Palhares. I, I saw this. Signs with World Series of Fighting. Hey, WSOF. So that's a big news. Liars. I'm, I'm happy for the guy. I'm <laughs> Liars. Pissed. If you guys remember, Dubai, he was uh, cut by the UFC, banned yeah. from the UFC, yeah. yep. holding the submission. Yeah. Bellator told him no. No. And so at least, hey, he signed with uh, a good promotion over there out west. Oh, yeah, I mean, uh, j- coming from the interview of Dana White saying that there's no there's no competition in Bellator. I saw that uh, about yeah. Askren, right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, more yeah, on that yeah, later. More we'll on, touch that, on later, that later, but for sure. Yeah, uh, <coughs> good job on Palhares land- landing an outfit. I mean, yes, he has been criticized for what he's done or for so all talented, that he's done. So talented, ultra talented. But yeah. yeah. 
Uh, when it all boils down to it, he's one ultra talented dude, man. Yeah. Bad and, motherfucker. And they signed him up for a 18 month four fight contract. So it's, it's kind of big. You know? Yeah, that's kind of big. Fight. Yeah, it's pretty long. I, I, I wanna I wanna find out if he's fighting. He's, if he's, the last fight in the UFC was his first fight at 170. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm curious if he's gonna stay at 170. Yeah, that's or what I'm gonna fight at 85. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I, I'd guy. like to yeah. see him at 170. But I think maybe since the competition isn't as stiff, for sure, he for might sure. stick to a well, middleweight. Yeah, but uh, yeah. I agree with, um, if you guys don't know or aren't familiar with WSOF, I, th- I, I, I kind of fighting. I kind of agree with Dana White that I think there's more talent in terms of competition in WSOF. Yeah. It's just Bellator yeah. is a Definitely. well-marketed mm-hmm. brand. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's why it gets... So, Man, I'm excited to see Palhares. Pa- Palhares, oh, sorry. Palhares. Anyway, but the biggest, I think, mentioning speaking Palhares. Of Portuguese. Because, yeah, speaking <laughs> Portuguese. I think the biggest, um, man, I, I I wish this fight would have happened, but it was Maya and Palhares. Oh, that yeah. oh damn. Sick, that would man. be sick. That would be that a sick fight. That would have been a good submission. submission yeah, round. for sure. Even Most in MMA. Most typical fight on the ground oh, man, out there. Sick. Yeah. Think it's gonna that. be like ADCC. Uh, on yeah, UFC. yeah. But uh, John Fitch is in WSOF, right? For mm-hmm. sure. Welterweight. So man, these guys could meet at welterweight. Yeah. John Fitch is also a great. Uh, Josh rapper. Bergman. Josh Bergman. Yeah. yeah, they're actually great fights to make there over in uh, WSOF. I think about um, it. Yeah. Palhares is a massive uh, welterweight. Yeah. Looking forward. Looking For forward sure. to his fights. Yeah. Looking forward yeah, to his fights. Yeah, his fight. debut is rumored to be in March. Oh, good boy, mm-hmm. gonna Palhares. So <laughs> don't, don't hold, hold on to that, that actor anymore. Bro, so <laughs> You learned your babe, lesson. Babe, babe. Yeah. babe. All right. So, boom. Move on to the Moving next. Moving on to the next round. round. Three. Going back here? to Asia. Yeah, man. A lot of MMA Asian news. We have Hyun Gyu Lim replacing the injured Jake Ellenberger, Ellenberger. Oh, on the Singapore. I was devastated when I when I heard of these reports that uh-huh. Ellenberger was out. But Actually, yeah. I saw this kid fight this Korean. He is a Lim? massive. Where, where? He's freaking huge. He, he's a. He fought in one of those undercards. Yeah, uh, the 164. Previous 164. Oh, Thanks, guys. Okay. Thanks so, for the yeah. index oh, so cards. Doing a, his research. Yeah, so Gab right here. Mm-hmm. Boom. Dojo Drifter. <laughs> so he's a current UFC fighter. He's he not is, like yeah, one of those massive, bro. He's a 2 and he is massive. in the UFC. 12-3-1 in his whole career. I'm impressed. I mean, his last performance, he brought it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. His two wins in the UFC are by knockout. Yeah. So he's heavy. Heavy, heavy hands. He's a yeah. big guy, he's like dude. He's a Yushin Okami type of guy. He's Yushin Okami, but... He fights at 70, dude. Yeah. He's a oh, big guy. Oh, I mean, okay. when he gets on the scale, he's already big. But he doesn't look dehydrated. When he when he fights in the cage, he looks even bigger. Yeah, yeah. I bet he's around 205 when he gets <laughs> in. He's huge. More 205, yeah. man. He's like 6'2". Uh, Laking yeah. welterweight. Yeah. Oh, and he's, uh, yeah, we drew the comparisons between him and Okami. But Okami's Japanese. Uh, he's, he's, he's Korean. Korean. He's Korean, yeah. Korean. yeah. Just, uh, Aren't they the same? <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, I don't want to get into that. Sorry. Yeah. And Sorry. he's fighting in the <laughs> UFC card against Tariq Safinin, yeah, uh, former event. Strike Force champion. Yeah, for sure, yeah exactly. Yeah, so, so that's, that's the main event. Of that I, I think this is a, this is a big break for him because, mm-hmm. you know, similar to John Jones, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Technically an unknown. Exactly. When and he, he yeah. gets an opportunity to fight a bigger name like t- yeah. uh, like Safadine, and yeah. if he defeats him in you know good fashion, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a huge win for yeah. him. Yeah. A lot of people though were complaining like, "Whoa, where's the star power? There's not a lot of big names on this card." But yeah, to the, to the untrained eye, to the untrained eye, yeah, it's, it's eye, always yeah, going definitely. to be yeah. a question. But I say, if you look at these cards, like the ones in uh, London, yeah, uh, your UK or yeah. in Asia, the goal really I notice is to please the local fans, to mm-hmm. get people yeah. in. I think Dana White touched on that about the interview. I think we we all With watched ben Ashton, it. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. I think we all watched it. That. These fights that are happening in London are for the London, the, the mm-hmm. fans in London. Mm-hmm. The, if the, the things, mm-hmm. the, the fights happening in Asia are the fa- Fan, for the fans, fans Asia, in Asia. Yeah. So, you know, you, you see in the cards in Brazil, it's always, there's going to be one Brazilian yeah. for each yeah. fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. so And actually, that's the thing why I posted the question of the day, which is, uh, what do you think of UFC's plans on invading Asia yes. and the world? Because right now, you have one FC in Asia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing. The uh, roster of Asian MMA fighters, the majority of that resides in one FC. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And so that's the thing. Uh, how will UFC do that? And they're starting to do that with UFC Singapore. Yeah, and yeah. then you have. It's a tricky question. Uh, you have rumors of no, UFC Philippines no, no, no coming uh-huh. in. Uh, yeah. UFC coming. UFC Philippines coming next year. 
uh, what's going to happen? I mean, they, they don't have that much fighters to fight over yeah. right now. For with, sure. Uh, a lot of the fighters come uh, in, I, I, in I, 1FC. I, I get it. Yung sa Brazil, eh. Like, yeah, they yeah, have yeah, a yeah. ton of talent. But there isn't uh-huh. like a... One FC yeah, for no just promotion. Brazil. No promotion. Yeah, exactly. No, I mean, I bet there are promotions, oh, yeah, but, but the majority yeah, of the the, the talent. Yeah, for sure. It's like, yeah. um, we. I th- I think you saw this post like Shinya Yoki denies. Yeah, we'll uh, touch on that later. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so something like that, and it's a, it's a tricky situation, and I don't know if it could happen like a um, like a URC CPXC thing mm-hmm. that. You know, just could happen to parang ibandera yung whatever promotion you're fighting for. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. like boxing with WBA, WBC, WBO. Like, yeah. Well, yeah. one good thing about the Singapore card though is that, yeah, again, more, more. Asian I'm excited fighters, for it. I'm more excited Asian for fighters. it. Man. Yeah. Dave Galera, first Filipino UFC fighter, is fighting yeah. on that card. And I saw freaking again, um, Will Chope. Yeah, Will Chope. Be on that. Yeah, saw with that, a kill man. from. Uh, I'm, training, excited training for it, I'm excited for it, man. I'm excited for it. And then, uh, What's his name? Dwayne Ludwig. Also, you have uh, this uh, Leandro Isa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. These guys are big Isa, names yeah. in Asia. So mm. when people say they're no big names on the card, I'm kind of uh, they're no mm. yeah. mainstream Stream. big time guys. Yeah, but yeah, there yeah, are a yeah. lot of credible fighters. See there. these guys fight. For sure. I mean, they're gonna they're gonna bring <coughs> it, man. Definitely, definitely. definitely. All right, so we go on. Let's move on to round number four. Round number four. We were touching on that. Yeah, sorry. we actually brought this up. Uh, Shinya Ayoki and Eddie Nam pass on UFC to contracts to stay to stick with the uh, one FC. Yeah, so this is big news because UFC offered these guys contracts, but they're uh, still under contract with one FC, and they s- chose to stick with one FC. Yeah. Wow. Uh, well, like I said, I mean, you see the clout of one FC and what Victor Koi has made. I mean, yeah. his <laughs> empire mm-hmm. in Asia, which is actually one thing that uh, is very very commendable with these Evolve MMA yeah. fighters. I mean. Um, I'm pretty sure UFC uh, gave <coughs> these guys really solid contracts. Yeah, good offers. Uh, good offers. And but to fight in the know. UFC, just that's a Super Bowl of UFC MMA. I mean, that's big. the that's the apex. That's where everyone wants to be. Yeah. Well, you know but I mean? the thing <coughs> is, uh, Ayoki is um, Ayoki is experiencing stardom here in. Is Asia. it a case of Fedor? Like I never fought in the mm. UFC, but I'm not know, man. Shitload of money in strike force. Huh. Yeah, you know I mean, what I mean, you know, it could be that, and you could always be the big fish in a small pond. Yeah, but and, or, and still, know, people would be sp- talking about you yeah. forever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Actually, yeah. about before the Evolve MMA guy said they wouldn't sign with the UFC, they'd stick oh, with wow. the UFC. And then one guy, see Leandro Isa, Isa yeah, signed yeah. with the U- UFC. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, uh, Nang and Ayoki didn't. I'm looking at the records. Like Nang and Ayoki are the only guys among the three. Yeah. They, they didn't never lost in the in one FC. One FC. Okay. So maybe that's a factor. Like they got such a good. Ayoki and Ayoki is a title holder. Yeah, they have yeah. so much For momentum sure. there. So uh, why step away? But I think I, if, if I if I put myself in their situation, it's like, man, I'm you know it, if it ain't broke, why why, why exactly. fix it? Exactly. It's like I'm fighting here <coughs> and getting a ton of money. I think they're getting a ton of money, and mm-hmm. they're the faces basically of one, one FC. FC. Yeah. And yeah. I bet they've already talked to Victor Quinn and I think they've they've touched on the topic that if mm-hmm. ever they're going to be offered something in the UFC, it's like it's Victor Quinn is okay with it because he's gonna say, "Oh, yeah. Galing one FC," and I'm proud yeah. to say uh, uh, he started one yeah, FC. Yeah, see, Isa had <coughs> one more fight on his contract with one FC, and Victor Quinn <coughs> didn't want to uh, step between him and the goal of fighting yeah. in the UFC. His dream. Of <coughs> but I think more than more than being proud of. Uh, a one FC alum going to UFC. I think Victor's stand on it is more of a, more of a, you know, more of a. Uh, hey, y- you can do what you want. I mean, sure. I have I have my outfit, sure. and mm-hmm. it's a pretty big outfit. And if you don't want to be included in one FC, then yeah, it's up yeah. to you. Because you know, no, knowing Victor and and his his conquer conquer Asia attitude, uh-huh. uh, it's highly unlikely. I mean, <coughs> I've I've. Uh, I've exchanged tweets with mm-hmm. him, and you know he's he's pretty he's pretty happy with Isa going there, and at the same time pretty happy that you know uh, Ayoki and Eddie Nang, Eddie the Magician. Hey, uh, hey, hey man, thing. I think I think from a business perspective, man, wait from, from uh, Victor Kui as a as a as a person, tremendous guy. I can't yeah. say yeah. I have good stuff about him. You know, 
and he's, actually brilliant man. yeah brilliant yeah, yeah. really down to earth you know he's a great guy but from a business perspective let's say i'm managing fedor let's just say i'm managing fedor okay. and he's fighting for a one fc and he's like man i want to go to the ufc it's like dude of course from business perspective it's like this mm -hmm. guy's bringing in money if i give him the ufc it's basically sure. oh, yeah, a kind sure. of a sell out you know what i yeah, mean yeah, but yeah. i don't know it's if, if victor Kui is that type of guy that hey man i'm not gonna stop you from pursuing your dreams but you know what i mean it's your decision oh yeah. one thing's for sure i mean asian mma is just yeah it's just exploding right. man 24 exactly. for sure is for sure be insane exactly. yeah yeah exactly. you got so many events to look forward to <coughs> here's a question the ufc is known for they bought out pride yeah they bought out strike force yeah. what if wec wec yeah for sure what if UFC tries to buy out one FC? You think that's possible? You think, I think it is. would give? give I don't think so. I think uh, knowing Victor Koy, it's not for him. It's not about the money. I don't. Yeah. And what think, if? Okay. Okay. What if? Just a hypothetical question. It's like I'm Dana White, and I tell Victor Koy, "Hey, man, you could be the Dana White of." <laughs> it's like a kind of a Xerxes. He actually is already now. A Xerxes, oh, a a Xerxes, Xerxes of Leonidas. <laughs> Yes, of as long as you bow to me, yeah. you will only bow to me. And like, that's a tempting offer, bro. Night, yeah, man, man. see? Yeah. It's always, it's everywhere, man, it's on kicks. Awesome. I don't know, man. Yeah. But seriously, it's 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 a, I don't know, it's a difficult thing. Yeah, I mean, but like what Oji said, man, when you speak to Victor, you hear the passion and the, exactly, the vision exactly. that he has. Dude, I don't think he... More power to him. More power, More power to, to yeah, 1FC. I mean, I, really like what they do. Actually, I love Dana White. I love Victor Quay. Really, really <laughs> big fan of 1FC right now. Do what now. you're doing, yeah, man. And w what's happening. And actually, oh, here, just to end this round. Uh, that's actually a big statement. The, the way UFC is having problems um, uh, making the or putting up the UFC Singapore card. Mm -hmm. It's actually props to 1FC. I yeah. mean, mm -hmm. uh, the fact that they gave UFC problems in getting <laughs> fighters. Dude, that just goes to uh -huh. show how big One FC is right now. Hindi naman parang siya. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not that. It's more of we're in Asia. I'm proud of them. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm bragging that my roster is <coughs> the legit cream of the crop yeah. of Asia. And it, and actually, it's just more of a shout out to Victor Kui and how he's done his his goal, yeah. which sure. is to yeah. you know he uh, since the start since One FC won, he's been saying, I have Asia. You can get the rest of the For world. For sure. I don't care, but 1FC is mine. Asia is pretty Asia big. Asia is mine. So Asia is pretty big. There. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, the way I see it then, <coughs> the UFC might have trouble uh, buying out 1FC because as of now, they keep saying that puno yung roster. Their roster is full. Mm -hmm. So if you buy out 1FC, what happens to the fighters? Are they going to end up unemployed? Yeah, yeah. Or yeah, will yeah, you absorb exactly. all of them? But I'm sure 1FC, I'm sure UFC wants to break into that Asian I market. Just, bro, I just got an epiphany. <laughs> no, seriously. Okay, okay, it seems right, important. Right. 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 Leoto, Leoto Machida's younger brother, oh, Shinzo, Shinzo Machida, yeah. could be fighting. I, I could see him fighting in one FC. Mm -hmm. That yeah. could happen, bro. That could happen. That would be insane. That would, that be, would be insane. I'd He's watch that. He's sporting the one FC yeah. gloves. What, what weight division is it? 145, bro. 145. Go with me. So, Fedor, Eric uh, Kelly. Uh, Eric Kelly. When are you? Featherweight. Featherweight. And Ayoki. Yep. Oh. Ayoki <laughs> versus Shinzo. <laughs> That'd be sick, man. That'd be sick. Stand up versus yeah. grappling. Oh, well, yeah, yeah we'll it. see. We'll see. Who knows? We'll see what just the, just well, the fantasy thing. Uh -huh. Since we're talking about Asian MMA, let's move mm -hmm. on to round number five. Yeah. Another big news yeah. in Asian MMA. Final, final headline for the day. <coughs> ben Askren from Bellator has signed, has joined Evolve MMA in Singapore. Singapore based. Yeah, Evolve this is MMA. the team of uh, Shinya Aoki, Eddie Nang. Mm. So this is big news. Cause big news. Big news. Bellator, the long time Bellator welterweight champion. Yeah, yep. long time. Undefeated, undefeated, 12 and 0. Wow. And so everyone's been saying that he either has to move to UFC or just move on. Which, For sure. Uh, one, uh, UFC president Dana White has said already, or CEO, sorry, has said already uh, that you know, there's no room for him in UFC, but he agrees with the fact that he has to move on. Which, for him, he believes that the move should be WSOF. Yeah. yeah. But the thing is, big news. Mm -hmm. uh, he's just made his move to Evolve MMA. This is a camp. People yeah. forget yeah. it's a camp. A so fighting camp. Yeah, for sure. Evolve MMA. That's his that team is, now. Uh, highly linked to 1FC. Yeah. And what's gone on on Twitter? You could see yeah. Askren well, 1FC, man. Twitter. 
This is James Goider was the for first one to break the news that Askren is with uh, Evolve MMA, and the rumor is that they're linking Askren to One FC. I mean, even uh, Victor, Victor Koi uh, retweeted that tweet from James. Actually, so, that was a big move for me yeah. when I saw that tweet. I was mm. like, for oh, sure, man. Headline, for sure. <coughs> but actually, just to throw this out there, I remember when uh, Rampage Jackson said, nah, I'm, I have a big announcement to make. And then Victor Kui replied, This is on Twitter. Twitter. This is yeah. on Twitter. See you later, bro. It kind of gave people the impression that uh, he was headed, oh, Rampage was man. heading to 1FC. Turns out it wasn't. It didn't happen that way. But so we'll still have to see. There's a lot. Sure. That's the marketing magic of Mr. Victor Kui. That's why I love this guy. I mean, I, I come from advertising. For uh -huh. sure. And I, I the just little like things. what just like what we and Gab <coughs> always talk about. Victor Kui, if you meet him, he is yeah, he guy. is the cleaner version of Dana White. He is the more professional. <laughs> Dana D Dana's of pretty Dana crass. He's Dana pretty crass. Dana will always be a He'll fan. speak his mind. Yeah. Dana will always be a fan. Victor is your MMA guy, is your, it, is your, is your marketing guy. Dana, you know? if you have any violent reactions, you can tweet us at dojo, dojo underscore, underscore drifter. drifter. So and Victor, if you like. I'm not trying to start about. anything. It's just Dana. That's Oji's opinion. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> Victor over Dana. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, see, uh, at Oji <laughs> app. Oh. <laughs> so, so yeah, but about even 1FC on uh, Facebook, they posted pictures of the belt of 1FC together with the with belt of UFC. So I was curious, like, what does this mean? No. Are they tying up? Are they? <laughs> well, when they posted that, they, it came with a with a caption. Sorry, I, I can't remember the exact caption, but it was more of a thing, uh, uh, something related to Asian MMA being booming right now, yeah. which is true. Uh, uh -huh. I think it was more of a reaffirmation of. One FC's goals as mm. being, mm -hmm. you know, we'll share the stage with you. But yeah. of course, UFC doesn't or want that. I, I like it. It shows that there's no insecurity. Na, oh shit, they're coming. Mm. Let's not post anything about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We acknowledge they're coming. We know. Yeah, we yeah, don't yeah. care. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 we bring don't care. It. it was kind of like a... You've got uh, moment of truth well, to end well, the well, insecurities. Man. Cool. Pretty cool. Talk about cool. One FC, man. December 6th. Catch that. We'll yeah, talk about days. that later. Yeah, later, But yeah, I mean... MMA in Asia booming, you know, Dojo Drifter in front of everything. For and sure, for sure. Yeah, we're, we're, we're on top of everything, covering everything. And be sure to tune in, log on to dojodrifter.com for the latest yes, Asian please. MMA news. We're on Facebook. I'm just so happy uh, right Dojo now. Dojo Drifter. <laughs> you know, I'm just so happy <laughs> for that sure, MMA man. is booming Same in here. Asia. So, hey, yeah. Before we leave the fifth round, talking about Ben Askren. Guys oh, yeah, undefeated. Guy. Fights yeah. um, the longtime uh, welterweight champion. Uh -huh. Of Bellator, mm -hmm. I think you know, I, I I think why he wanted to go to the UFC and why he thought he could go to the UFC is, I give this guy props because yeah. he's undefeated. I think yeah. he's proven himself in Bellator, uh -huh. but I thought I I, I thought that he, I thought that he thought he could take the same path of like a Hector Lombard, yeah. who was the longtime middleweight champion of Bellator, Bellator. Yeah. Sousa. and yeah he. He took that road. He got signed by the UFC. He lost one fight. Then he dropped the weight and mm -hmm. dropped weight, dropped the weight class. Mm -hmm. And now he's performing at the uh, you know top level Hector Lombard, yeah, yeah. you yep. know that we saw in Bellator. But I think it's just a lack of talent down at at Bellator. Seriously, yeah. It's just, I mean, that's you know, that's how it is. And outstanding guys tend to just uh, mop the competition. Yeah, for and, sure. You know, trample the competition. And I think I think Ben Askren is the this is, the, this is the kind of guy that's me sorry Ben oh, Askren is the kind of guy who fights me he cuts swim weight to get to 170 but it's not a ton wow. you know the guys like a like a Diego Sanchez uh -huh. they can make 55 I see this guy making 55 and he's chiseled you know uh -huh. what I mean yeah. and man if he makes 55 oh, yeah, that could be, be you know you know what yeah, it could be better for his year but that's further on that's just my yeah. opinion but Ben Askren, I'd like to see him fight in WSOF, and eventually he'll get the fight in the UFC. Yeah, I this mean, is a talented kid. I'd he's like to see him in one. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to see him in one. I'd like to see him in one. He's an Olympian, like a former Summer Olympics. I don't play competing Damn. Summer yeah. Olympics in wrestling. Two-time 
NCAA champion. If he can get to 155, he's solid. At he could he's fight. got the time, though. I mean, yeah. talking about it, I mean, he's he's young. He's fairly young. Mm -hmm. uh, he's not like, you know, he's not like the Mauricio Hua who, yeah. who you came to fame, young. who came to the UFC mm -hmm. a bit older. So now he's kind of declining for me. No. He says he's going to drop to 85, talking about Shogun. I'm just yeah. throwing it out there. Do mm -hmm. your research. We'll see, uh -huh. we'll see. All right, Boom. so that's, that's the end of the fifth round. Dojo Drifter, five Boom. rounds, yes, five of the hottest MMA headlines in the world today. Yes, brought to you by Gab today. Oh yeah. Boom. All right, so courtesy of Gab. Yeah. On to the main events of the, last yeah. weekend. I mean, that's that was a pretty so full Drifter. MMA weekend again. Yeah. Uh, full of fights, full of fights, and we start off with URCC. Yeah, uh, great event. They man. held their event last Saturday. Def yeah, Def represent. Oh, yes, sir. Def Great, <coughs> um, Def great, uh, great outcomes. I yeah, mean, just great fights. Exciting all over. card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great card, man. And then the atmosphere. If you compare it, if you go to these MMA events, you compare the atmosphere in URCC. I'm not sure why the atmosphere was so intense maybe it was a small venue yeah. smaller venue smaller venue or, but i i pay i uh, credit it to the fact that the fans are loyal hardcore guys yeah and it's like they yeah. each have a link to each yeah to the I, they they either on a personal level yeah, exactly. or they're just mega fans yeah so like the <coughs> ali katibi versus adrian hilana fight that was the one joe rogan says the atmosphere is so electrifying yeah or the the app so thick, you can cut it with a knife. You got it there. Yeah. Cut it with you a knife. You can cut it with a knife. That's Attention. exactly what it felt like. It's like, Jesus, it's mm. so intense in here. Slice one. Like what we were talking about, man. I mean, URCC in the Philippines is like uh, the UAAP of MMA. Yeah, man. Dude, yeah. I mean, you know, I've everyone knows been, each other. I've never been to a boring URCC event. Exactly. <coughs> I'm just saying. Exactly. It's like so, it's never boring. Yeah, it's never boring. This is their 11th, right? What do you mean, though? The 11th? The 11th, yeah, uh, URCC, 11th year. 11th ah, year. Yeah, yeah. Ko, yeah. We went to Decade. Uh, no, no, we went to Decade. We went to Decade. 11th yeah. year. Yeah. yeah. Solid, man. Okay, so the main event was Jian Bo Lu from China versus yeah. our very own Eric Kelly. Yeah. Eric Kelly. Kelly's, Kelly's a beast. Delivered Brown again. Brown Filipino. And he's, he's a beast. MMA fighter, I think. I believe. Finishing. Yeah, yeah, finishing. Play you by should, play. You should see his... Oh, he posted play, that. You, yeah, you don't need too much play by play. He basically caught a kick. First round, right? Yeah, got the uh, got the back, took the fight to the ground, locked in the arm bar. Uh, Lou defended, but he just waited for the right time, and then he got the top yeah. arm bar. Oh, man. Within like two minutes, man. Man. So Super this was similar to the arm bar he placed on Brad Terry, where he yeah. waited for the right moment yeah. and cranked, cranked that it. shit up. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, solid, man. But this was in the first round, and I think I, I, saw, the, I saw the video you posted mm -hmm. on Dojo Drifter on Facebook. Kelly looks sharp, man. Yeah, I think exactly. he suffered a loss before this fight. To a championship to loss. A, a championship Mario, 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 yeah. And two things Fell happen if you lose a, a big fight. It's either you rise up from it or it breaks you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, man, I'm he, a did a Munoz, huh? yeah, man. he did a Mark Munoz, huh? He did a Mark Munoz. But man, he, <coughs> Kelly's he took, a beast. He took absolutely beast no damage in that fight. Like if you see him after, he could fight on Again. the December 6th card yeah. and it would be no problem. Actually, like, yeah. He, yeah. he was just so fresh. Go, damage. Victor, do it. I think, what else? Yeah, I think something like that <laughs> happened. Like, a, like Crippler Lieben. He fought one time because he was so he, fresh. He holds the record uh, for yeah. most consecutive fights. Yeah, yeah, like he's super busy of time. Uh, because like, he doesn't sustain any damage from exactly, one fight. Exactly. Like two weeks where I'm, you know, if, if I'm going to put back some weight, I'm, I'm in shape. Mm -hmm. I'm in shape. Mm -hmm. the, the weight's coming off. Yeah. It's going to be easy. Yeah. That, this yeah. is where you question, you know, the high name fighters like John Jones, uh, Anderson yeah. Silva. But no, I, res I respect that. If, if, yeah, if, if, if uh, well, yeah, but I mean, you know, I mean, those guys. For sure. Dude, you don't need a one year break. Uh, you you, if, you if, knock the guy out. You, man, if what you're the, the champ, fuck do you need a if, one year you break for? Break, if you're the champ, bro. You can, pick. You can do anything. Oh, well, fine, fine. But more on Eric <laughs> Kelly. I mean, as Bas Rutten would say, um, Anato? The world is yours. Yeah. The, the world day, is yours. Last weekend. Guys, don't forget the shirt. We got the shirt. Yeah, up. the shirt. What? Tweet us. Tweet us. Call us. Come on. But yeah, more on Eric Kelly. I mean, I've been I've been telling you guys. We've been talking about it. Beast, Eric man. Kelly for me is 45? pound for pound the best in the Philippines. I think right so. Now. I think he's like the Jose Aldo. Yeah. I, I exactly. can go out there and say he's like the Jose Aldo of, uh, of the Philippines. The first live 45. MMA event I watched was 1FC's. That was the first, so sorry. The first 1FC's I was with you. I was so sorry. And 
you know, he was against Jens Pulver, yeah, yeah, a yeah. former UFC champion. Yeah, yeah. And when I when I when I saw that, when I watched that fight, dude, uh, that was just awesome. And I was just so amazed at how you know at how he performed against the UFC fighter. He knocked Jens Pulver out. And and and, and Jens Pulver is just that, that. That's another guy who's a long time UFC fighter. As you said, he's a beast. But you know, not taking anything away from Eric Kelly. Um, Jens Pulver's career is Was maybe declining, at declining that time. but man, Eric Kelly, hey, I'm, I'm just throwing this out there. Um, to you, Gab, and to you, Audrey, think about it, man. Eric Kelly Mark fights at 45. Rigan. Mark Striegel's fights at 45. Both have records. They have one loss. Yeah. Make it happen. Yeah, I Make took the picture happen. after the event. I, I saw, saw that, dude. That was sick. And they're that like good friends. Sick. Like, hey, bro, congrats. Hey, I'll see you in Baguio. Baguio. And they took a picture together. It's like, bro, I think yeah. we're fighting yeah. next. <laughs> that could happen, yeah, bro. That's actually, so... Actually. Oh, man. That would be a great fight, man. They're but both so technical. Don't and I'm, I'm just so happy so that Eric nice. Kelly won after such a devastating injury suffered from that Brad Terry fight yeah, 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 and yeah. the loss too. Although he won that Brad Terry fight, but yeah, he suffered. The I was uh, fucked. Uh, a loss to Honorio Banario, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that was a championship, yeah, championship yeah. fight. I mean, you, you know, know, it could end up looking with a simple like rabbit punch from Honorio. Not taking anything away from Honorio Banario, but that wasn't a knockout punch. I mean, he got punched in the eye, mm-hmm. went down, and just said. It could. It, it <laughs> My could. eye hurts. <laughs> yeah, These guys can punch. I'm. Yeah. I'm just saying. I think it was recorded as a TKO via eye injury. Eye like injury. Not so yeah. Exactly. yeah. So there. But so no. Of course, no. Nobody wants that on the record. What's like, next I to went Eric Kent for like Eric Kent, man? I mean, you know, I. I just hope one FC continues his contract with yeah. that win. Uh, one FC should get Mugen. I'm just saying. He actually uh, no, just no disrespect to PXC. I actually chatted with Mark Mugen a serious? while ago. Yeah, this morning. What did he say? Huh? Facebook. I was like, we have a show oh, later. Oh, that was me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I said, we have a show later. But you yeah. any, <laughs> any announcements you'd want uh, to make? Well, uh, he'll be watching out for for one FC this Friday, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, although he's not he's not training anyone in that card. Mm-hmm. And then I made a slight jab after the okay. conversation and was just Could like you fight you know, I'd love to see you on UFC or 1FC uh, mm-hmm. soon and he was like he, he just went thanks <laughs> cool yeah. and and just you know just logged out so I was mm. like oh, oh wow what does this mean <laughs> I mean you know, yeah, 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 exactly. I Mark Rugen like is <laughs> typing That's after scene. five minutes no. thanks but, and I mean, like five but, minutes you know, of typing I mean just a sh- <laughs> sh- shout out to Mark I don't know but like for me, for me, he's one of the best fighters in Asia. Right I now. agree. Yeah. I agree. And I he's he's got you know he UFC was was part of his path. It's for just sure. That he lost recently. He, yeah. yeah. He was listed as one he's of the He's going to get there. Yeah, one of the most likely guys to get signed by the UFC. Yeah. In the Philippines, right? Yeah, so yeah, it's Asia. just a matter of time. He's young. Yeah. Like, yeah. He has a he's lot 20, of time. He's like, 25. He's like, our like, age. Like what we were talking about before when, when Andre Galva was here and yeah. he was doing that, that Athos Jiu-Jitsu yeah. and he was awarding the, the black belts. Mm-hmm. And, and he was promoting Dojo Drift. He was promoting Dojo <laughs> Drift. <laughs> Don't forget that, guys. Let's not forget. Guy. That. Let's yeah. not forget. Okay. He, and he, he awarded, who was the first guy he awarded with a black belt? Uh, Ralph Go. Ralph Go. So congrats to him. And yeah. we we said, oh, Coach Ali, I thought he was going to be one of the, he was going to be the first. And he, he told me he's going to get there. And like oh, the after a week, day. the next day, the next day, the next day he got his black belt. So I think it's a, it's it's the same for Mugen and Eric Kelly that eventually yeah, they're going to get to the to the UFC, man. But mm. uh, more on the card. I mean, let's move on. Oh yeah, we're so fixated yeah, yeah, yeah. on. Yeah, Eric oh sorry. Kelly. Okay, heavyweight championship about Igor Sobora from Ukraine. Knocked out Marcos Valda in the first round. Was your Valda, teammate? Big, wait, big was yeah, heartbreaking. It's God. Oh, it's but so you did the interview. Shout out to I saw you. Him. You did the yeah, interview, yeah, right? I, interview and go after. I said, were you surprised that, that you Valda, defeated my teammate? Yeah, no, that, <laughs> that Marcos chose to stand stand with yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. He said, yeah, I was surprised. Uh, but uh, Igor said it wasn't a good idea. Yeah, he yeah. Have gone for the takedown. Igor, though. heavy hands, you know. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's a big guy. I saw that. That's a big guy. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, Marcus brought it. Uh, it was unexpected. He brought the action. For it was an exciting fight. For the the I'm not sure, like three, two minutes it lasted. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, and then I asked Igor, like, what's next for you? And he said that he has an uh, an announcement to make. He hasn't so made said, it. Man, Just I wait w- for it. Yeah, I I want. Yeah, he hasn't made it yet, but. It could be anything. He could, could be signing with a new promotion. Yeah, yeah. Could be he has an opponent in mind. 
I don't know. Yeah. Could be anything. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see about that. Yeah. And then the featherweight. How you guys want to add to the? To no. The man. Well, I mean, you know, it was a pretty short fight. Mm-hmm. It's basically a knockout, and good for Igor. Yeah, but uh, what I wanted to ask though was, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, I wasn't there, but uh, is it true that everything ended in a and ended ended? Uh, I mean, the fight. Not had, not by a decision, you mean? Yeah. Well, I think it was left in the hands exactly. of the, the judges. Main, the main card fights were all finishes. Solid. So uh, that's by knockout or submission. Alika TV, Eric Kelly, and Igor Sabora. Igor Sabora. And uh, I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting one. <laughs> Red, Red Romero Red versus Romero. Uh, Ricardo Sapna. Yeah, yeah that was a Red great fight. championship fight. Yeah, for the featherweight title, congratulations to Raydon Romero uh, no, for I, taking the featherweight title. I'm ju- I'm sorry, man. I love URCC. I love Alvin Aguilar, but man, these belts. We gotta get some designs up in here. Man. <laughs> Seriously, Absolutely. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just I saying, agree. man. It's like I'm I will be excited. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just <laughs> if you put a well, strap yeah, on this is like, a, I mean, what? You know, the, the lines are open. The Again, are I'm open. just saying the lines are open. If you wanna, so I can design your, something for you. If you wanna Alvin, put your two cents, to if you wanna put your two cents in the conversation. Yeah. You know, you can. It would be like a John Cena belt. Be spinning, <laughs> spinning, yeah. Spinning. Yeah. The R and the yeah. Alvin, hey, we got Chief. We'd love to have you over. Yeah, to man. Help, sir. To talk about uh, you know the growth of MMA, MMA. in the Philippines. Exactly. Or anything. Exactly. Could anything. Talk about yeah. aliens if you want to. A la GSP. Yeah, a la GSP, man. So you, you were saying, uh, what uh, about so yeah. the Red Sapna fight? Uh, Sapna fight, great fight, lasted uh, up to th- the third round, but uh, Romero got the win by rear naked choke. Solid man. To take the belt. Uh, I interviewed him. He said that, of course, he's very happy, plans to hold the belt for a long time, and he's open to a rubber match between <coughs> him and Sapno. Like a third meeting. Oh, this is basically the second fight, yeah, the second Sap- time they're yeah, fighting. Sapno won the first fight, and then uh, Romero took this one. So maybe a rubber match is in the near future. We'll see. For sure. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, and then the Ali Katibi and uh, Adrian Hilana fight. That was quicker than I thought it would be. It ended in the first round by a rear naked choke in favor yeah. of Hilana. RNC. Yeah, so, yeah, that <coughs> fight was intense, man. The crowd was going nuts. You have the, the submission sports side for Hilana, def tag side for... Yeah, Katibi. submission sports is big. If people don't know, submission sports is big here in the Philippines. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's and why these guys are so competitive. Yeah. Because they're representing. Yeah. Yeah. And knowing Katibi, man, Death he brings it every sport. fight. I mean, I've seen this guy mm-hmm. fight. He's a beast as well. Yeah. yeah. And I'm, pretty, oh, I'm pretty sure he hyped up the crowd, but, yeah. you know. He yeah, got there was the, this lady beside me. Like yelling, na wag daw sapakin si Ali Katibi kasi ang guapo. Wag mo sapakin, ang guapo niya. Wag mong lalaki ba talaga to? Are you serious? Was that a trick question? No, it's just, I'm just saying, it's like, ganito, sorry. Okay, ganito, Luke Rockhold, the girls know him. You know what I mean? Or if they don't, if they see him, it's like, okay. GSP. I'm going to do him. I don't know, dude. It's like. Hey, more on that. Let's see. Yes, uh-huh. Attorney. Uh, yeah. Y- yeah. You know, we're Top 10 know. hotties Atorney, in MMA. Hemeno in the show. The guys. So, guys. Attorney, Hemeno, come on the show. We'd like to. If you don't know her, she's one of the big fans of, of MMA here in the Philippines. Yeah, yeah. She's there in all yeah. MMA events yeah, in the Philippines. She was at the PXC last time. She, she was, was at the PXC, 1FC, 1FC press con. Uh, I yeah. hope to see her so, so Karen, the 1FC. Karen, there yeah. you go, yeah. sorry. But yeah, Attorney yeah, yeah, Karen, you know, you know, shout out. Shout out Hello. to Attorney Karen. Good good guess, love to yeah. have you. Uh, more on the Guapo MMA <laughs> fighters, I guess. Yeah, sure. Mm. I agree. <laughs> mm. Okay. So yeah, man, mm. you are CC solid. And then I asked Alvin Aguilar like his last message. He was happy with the event, and that I said, "What's next?" Uh, he said, "Next year you're gonna see us around the world." Next year. I, said, I hope so, man. What does that mean? Well, what does that mean? What, what does I mean, that you know, mean? We've been we've been debating earlier, like on what. What that it could statement be, meant. It could be that the URCC could be holding fights abroad. Abroad. PXC because style. yeah, it's like. If they get to advertise, let's say technically in Brazil, but then I mean, like yeah, actually, you these fight th- there is no shortage of fighters. And you know, there's a shortage of outfits if and there's promotions. Anything, yeah, if there's anything, there's one goal in in Philippine MMA. It's just that to promote Philippine Ganito, fighters. Ganito, let's uh, let's. Wushu, Yao Yan, mm-hmm. and, and all the all, all of these fighting uh, styles. Gracie Baja, you know what yeah, I mean, yeah. and. I think it's a it's a tremendous opportunity for these guys to for the USRC to expand the roster, but you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm not exactly. bored about I'm not I'm not saying I'm bored that 
because it's just Filipinos and there are a couple of white dudes here and there. Mm -hmm. But man, you know, there's a ton of talent in Brazil. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There's a ton of talent maybe in other countries. There's a yeah. ton of talent in Europe. In Europe, I yeah, mean, yeah, I've yeah. Talked, I've talked to Alex Gustafsson's manager. Oh, Dude, yeah. he's handling so many fighters. Like Ross from, Pearson, the guy brings uh, it. Exactly. You know what yeah. I mean? Bisping. Yeah. He's, he's handling so many it. European fighters <coughs> that have no names but are beasts. Man. Yeah, and exactly, and exactly. Uh, you know, uh, Emelianenko was fellow, yeah. was was a nobody. But technically, before. I don't know. Like a like a Henan Barao. When Henan when did Barao. we when did he become mainstream? When exactly. we knew he was undefeated for how many years and he was on this yeah. tremendous streak of thirty two straight wins or whatever. Uh -huh. yep. yeah. You know exactly. what I mean? So, yeah. Oh man, more power to the URCC and yeah, more power yeah. to Alvin and the outfit. Yeah, yeah let's see what Sir happens. Alvin, gumest naman kayo. <laughs> oh, that would be yeah. sick if Shane guest cha kasi ano, si Victor Kui. I would go. The yeah, studio would just yeah, their explode. Partner, <laughs> their their partner, explode. the cage behind us. Yeah, is the cage explode. behind us will become real. It's a green screen <laughs> for you guys watch. It will become real. I swear. People will be like, why are there people inside? <laughs> the fuck. Yeah, that would be awesome. Right. But yeah, yeah. I mean. What? So yeah, uh, yeah more power any last it. words, yeah, you are you are CC. Yeah, I can't wait to see uh, Philippine MMA grow, especially mm -hmm. with uh, URCC at the Ultimate forefront. Ultimate reality so there, man. Oh, by the Be way, uh, speaking of the URCC, for those fans who don't know about the URCC or about any of the Philippine outfits out there, dude, watch up. Uh, there are only like you know a handful of what promotions. The term? Guys, you better watch up. No, no, no. <laughs> We're calling watch out. out. I promise. That's right. Right. <laughs> there are only a handful of, of promotions that hold their fights here in the Philippines. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. if you watch the boxing match, it is nothing compared to an MMA fight. Chess and checkers, you know, bro. The sound, the sound and a like, kick makes to the ribs. You know, and they just eat it. Like, F boom, and walk different, through man. it. <laughs> Walk through and it. Yeah, uh, it's fun to watch Filipino fighters. If you think that they're not exciting, you know, uh, Filipinos are known to bring it in the, in the cage. Chicks na exactly. You know what they mean? That, yeah. And the they're educated about it. They know I what's happening. I, I don't notice these things. The last I, I, one I, Come on, are you serious? <laughs> wow. Because, Shout out to oh, Trish. Yeah, I don't know. Wow, that was safe. <laughs> what is this no, thing? What, last one FC card, who was there? Diana Menezes, you all the Brazilian men. Who's next? Ellen Adarna. 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 Come on, man. Shout out Everybody's MMG talking Adarna. about you. What the fuck? Yeah. Get yeah. here. Exactly. Get here. Get. Come on. Let's talk MMA. Let's yes. see what you know. Yeah, exactly. Jeez, but yeah. Uh, and you know, where else? Where better to find out what the next promotion is, what the next fight is here in the Philippines than Dojo Drifter. Dojo Drifter. Yes, sir. Dojo Drifter. Every Drifter Monday, live. Got it, Every got Mondays, 1 p.m. live, 8 p.m. Yes, replays. So you guys out there who's, who are going to watch, who are watching the replay, good evening, 8 p.m. And it's going to be weird because it's still 1 p.m. So yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. So uh, yeah, replay at 8 and Replays we've got eight. YouTube links. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Uh, on anyway. to the next. UFC. Another, another Ultimate good. Fighter House. Yeah, another good uh, promote or Finale. another good show that yeah. happened yesterday. Just yesterday. Was the Finale, Finale of Finale. the Ultimate Fighter. 18. Oh my God, that was Holy actually a good, good card. I mean, a lot of people tune out when it came when it comes to the. To the to the finale of the Ultimate Fighter since it's a bit it's dragging. It's a bit dragging. A lot of and it, it lost the original main event. Yeah, which Benavides versus Mighty Mouse Johnson. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That oh man. Original. But look, no Sam. one, nobody noticed anymore that I did. I did it. I didn't. The, the result was so great. It was yeah. Maynard versus Diaz. Yeah. Maynard versus Diaz, bringing it, man. I mean, oh, we man. touched on Diaz's Big boxing Maynard last week, yeah. but I never thought it was this good. Yeah, Everything was landing. Oh. Yeah, exactly. But I'm a wait, big Green uh, Maynard fan, man. I just reserve that for the main event. Fuck. Okay. Uh, Fuck. Tuf. Tuf. What happened to the Ultimate Fighter? It was Misha Tate, Mi Team Tate, Tate versus, versus Team, Team Rousey. Ronda Rousey. Yes, yeah, sir. And who met? Uh, for the guys. For the guys. Uh, who met? For the Chris Holdsworth. Yeah, Chris <coughs> Holdsworth versus David Grant for the bantamweight men's division. This was a good fight. And yeah. then uh, Holdsworth won. By a submission. People don't know Chris Holdsworth has been a long time part, a uh, long time member of Team Alpha Male. So this guy's a beast. You know what I mean? Oh, fights a 35. Okay, so he's massive. I so think you've he's known six him foot. before. Yeah, I, I follow him on Instagram, and he's 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 training under that you know Dwayne Bang Ludwig coaching, mm -hmm. and 
you know, guys like Uriah Faber. So, man, I was just expecting it. No disrespect to his opponent, but it was, it was basically yeah. never. It was a good yeah. choke. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good, it was good to submission. Yeah, all his uh, tough wins were by submission. Like yeah. Wow, on submission. Man. So he's really solid. solid. In the women's division, Juliana Peña. Juliana. The, the Venezuelan Dixon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nickname, yeah. She, she won. defeated Jessica <coughs> Ricosi. First round TKO. I was, I was like actually, there's one second oh, left. One exactly. Second. Yeah. 459 left. I was actually iffy on this. I thought that the Canadian would win. Mm -hmm. I thought that Rakozi would win because she was a pro boxer. Yeah, Before like a joining boxer. the Ultimate Fighter, she was a champion boxer. He only boxer, one so, you punch, know, man. If he would, she, she let go of his ha her hands, most likely it Juliana would, would go down. Yeah. yeah. But, <coughs> you know, Juliana brought it. I yeah. didn't expect that from a girl. Yeah. Seeing a girl do ground and pound uh, that so efficiently. It's damn. both a win for Team, team Tate. Tate. Oh, you mad Ronda? You mad? Sure. I saw that meme. I saw that meme. You mad, you mad Ronda? A lot of his Ronda haters yeah. after the I, I, so Ultimate Fighter show. I didn't Maybe follow it's it just though, but a, a bunch of Misha Tate lovers. So no, no, I don't no. know. Where can I open see Ronda Rousey during the? The post fight interview, she was like so snobbish. Yeah, she was so holding on her really clutch it. bag and just, you know, not. What was up with that interview, though, man? I mean, yeah. she was wasn't just, stalking or she was just. I think she's you know, just being real. She's if, being if, Rhonda. Yeah, yeah if, if, exactly. If, if, I don't, if I don't like the outcome, I'll give you a piece of my mind. So, yeah. man, it's all good, but yeah. But yeah, uh, dates, more on the Ju Juliana Pena Bracosi fight. Uh, basically, Pena brought down Bracosi and. That was it. Mm -hmm. Ground and pound all it the way. Do you see Rakozi fight? I mean, yeah. uh, Rakozi's face. Mm. Yeah, man. And then see Pena. This is she also finished all her tough house fights. Fights, yeah. So three finishes. Man, this girl's dangerous. Man, I'm sorry. It's just I've, I'm not trying to be sexist, man. It's just it gets brutal for me if I see girls, you know, with bloodied up faces. But if it's guys, it's like, dude. You didn't perform. It. That's how yeah, you're supposed actually, to. Look. Yeah, actually. You know what I mean. So yeah. just, just my opinion about that. So, but man, uh, these girls are beasts. But uh, one interesting thing to note, though, is that um, these girls coming in from the Ultimate Fighter mm -hmm. are all welterweights, or most of them are. I think we can call them so women. Most. Okay. Yeah. Mo uh, most likely, <coughs> if these girls get, you know, if fights a bit more, most likely they will end up fighting either Rousey or Tate. Yeah, They're technically, because mm -hmm. I, I think I think Dana White came out saying in in that same Ben Askren interview uh, about Ben Askren um, when they interviewed him, I, I think he said there are probably going to be six members from that roster from that cast who are going to be fighting yeah. in the UFC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, uh, Tate may be cheering now, but if she hey, tastes man. that uh, yeah, pound, changing man. of the yeah. guard in the future, yeah, I could exactly. see that happening. Yeah. What's he paying you? He's been calling Rousey out. No, oh, it's too early, man. Yeah, it's par for the course, though. If you're, who do you call out, ba? You call out the champ, though. Yeah, exactly. For sure, for exactly. Sure. I mean, you don't, you don't call out the middle ground. Uh, yeah, exactly. I'm just, I'm just throwing this sense, out there. Unless you have beef uh -huh. with someone. I'm just throwing this out there. They have one division in the women's in, in, in uh -huh. women's MMA right now in the UFC. Mm -hmm. I don't they I have two? They have like two. A lighter one. They, they're gonna add one. They have a lighter one. No, they're they, gonna add one. They're gonna for add the longest weight. time they had. No, for they're gonna add strong It's just been one. Because because are you serious? The, yeah, well, the even in Strike Force? They had 45 in Strike Force. No, Strikeforce I remember had, it was. They had a lot in Strike Force. They had a lot in Strike Force. Yeah. In the UFC, exactly. they have two right now. Uh, they have which one, is, which is Bantam Weight and Rousey. I'm sorry, not Bantam Weight. They're gonna add one. They're gonna add one. They're gonna add one more. And I heard it was straw weight. Straw weight. Straw weight. Yeah. Because the girlfriend. So of that's Pat negative. Barry is negative be the what? First oh, what's her name again? Rose. 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 Uh, with a with Rose a Hawaiian Barry. Last name. No, I'm kidding. Sorry, <laughs> They're not getting married. Rose Barry. No. Rose. <laughs> no, no, no. But yeah. But I heard I from remember. Pat Barry. Yeah, she's but Pat Barry. <laughs> I was trying to find her name in the air. I heard. <laughs> I heard from Pat Barry that she's a beast. But that's coming yeah, from man. the boyfriend. No. I I would call. Who's a beast as well? I would call yeah, my man. girlfriend a beast. Uh -huh. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Sometimes the beast oh, is the beast. By the way, my girlfriend boxes. Oh, yeah. She is the beast. <laughs> Shout out to Liz, Camille, and yeah. Trish. Hey, <laughs> anyway. And then uh, talking about the card again, so see Holdsworth actually scored submission of the night for that. Oh, yeah. What? And then uh, the fight of the night was between Ryan Benoit and Joshua Sampo. But see, relative Chris, man, no. What? <laughs> yeah, but see, <laughs> the Crippler. That, that's how you read it, though. You Benoit, yeah, yeah, Benoit, yeah, yeah. Benoit. 
But he didn't make weight. So, so all formed, the winnings. Are... All the winnings, $100,000, went to his opponent, Joshua Sample. Who won on that in that fight? Uh, Sample. By ah, Renegade. okay. So he Renegade deserved Renegade it. Yeah. I mean, he what, deserved I mean, it. What a payday, man. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And he was on the preliminary card. Who won that fight in terms of money? His opponent? <laughs> Dude, what no, the fuck? No, no, no. Yeah, he, he won. He won the fight. No, he the, won the fight. He and he got bonus. the money. No, Benoit didn't get anything. Benoit won. No. Benoit won. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Anyway. Yeah. Solid. So... Yeah, big payday for him. And then, knockout of the night went to our main event. Main guys. event, man. <laughs> Gray Maynard, Maynard yeah. versus the Nathan bully. Dude, Gray I Maynard. Never expected man, that. I never I mean, expected you know, that. Um, this is a trilogy. Mm-hmm. For those who don't know, they've met uh, Gray, Nar- Gray Maynard, Gray Maynard, Gray Maynard, Gray Maynard, and Nate Diaz met during the <laughs> Ultimate Fighter Five, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Where in? In what? the Ultimate Fighter house. Diaz won, Diaz by, won a, by, submission. by submission. The second fight is it, was legit, a brawl. legitimately in the UFC. Yeah, yeah legitimately in the split UFC decision. was a brawl. Split, split decision, decision Maynard, Maynard, yeah. which yeah. I believe should have gone to Nate personally. Come on. But and this is the third fight of their you know of their trilogy, mm-hmm. and Nate effin brought it. Yeah, man. I mean, dude, first round finish, just. Great boxing. Uh, usually the Stockton slap is like that 50% power that mm-hmm. Joe Rogan's always been yeah. talking about. And that you just know, it's just, bothers you. Yeah, it just bothers you and doesn't give you room to breathe. But man, he finished gray. Finished gray, man. Finished I mean, gray, man. In, Seriously. In stunning boxing, fashion. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Uh, one thing that really amazed me or that really wowed me was the fact that punch Gray Maynard. Gray Maynard got hurt, got yeah. down, and he and he's like he was like, you're going down. Ah, I'm gonna beat your ass. Oh. So he got excited and started you know, flipping off everyone he saw. Yeah. And actually, <laughs> Gray Maynard was just standing up because of the punches. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every time he would just go go down, another uh, another. Yeah, man. No punch. room to breathe. Him. Yeah, when the referee stopped no the fight, room to breathe. there was he Maynard just. Yeah, he dropped, fell. Dropped, he fell. Yeah, yeah, you would man. see it on in, in your screen that he would just he'd fall. But man. that that first flurry, that was just what. 15 punches yeah, landed dude. square in the face. Yeah, he wouldn't dude, go yeah, down go that. But props to Gray Maynard, though, actually. He yeah. was still awake. <laughs> but I mean, he didn't get knocked out, uh, knocked out. What, what, yeah. what, 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 where's the future of Gray Maynard? I'm a, I'm a fan. Uh, I'm just asking. It's like he, he's ranked number six, I think. And this and was is he still in the top 10? This was know. former contender. But yeah. there is no, there is. There, he's a two-time number one contender. contender yes, yeah, yes. exactly. He fought Frankie Edgar. But there is no fight. lack of, there is no lack of talent in the lightweight division. Yeah. This is yeah. the the it's most again, stacked division. Again, we talked about this last week. Division, like at any point, any any guy ranked one through fifteen could be one through fifteen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Number two could be could easily fight number fifteen, 15. and it would be a an even match. match. Yeah. yeah, even match. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, so see Maynard. I think he's like one, three, and one in his last five. Man. Five fights. He's only won once. And that was against Gr- uh, Clay Guida in a boring ass fight. Yeah, man. Where Wait, they kept this ran. This ran around. around. Yeah, and the yeah, fight yeah. that sent Guida to featherweight. So, yeah. I don't know. Uh, Maynard mentioned before the fight that he still wants to fight Frankie Edgar again <coughs> at 145. So, maybe can he make 145? He's huge. He has to get yeah, in line. Huge. He has to get in line because it's BJ Penn at and the Frankie same time. Edgar. So yeah, exactly. <coughs> and at the same time, Nate Diaz was stick thin this fight. <laughs> yeah, so it wasn't the size Nate thing. Diaz always has been stick thin. You know what I mean? If he's no, six no, foot. He's making 55. He mm. wants to move up. But if he moves up, I don't know. Is that... That Kuyal, could happen. Kuyal versus... If that's the most uh, interesting fight that could get Na- uh, Nick Diaz, mm-hmm. not Nick, diba? Yeah, Nick, Nick out of old. retirement, Nick, Nick is that could happen. That would be epic. Nick retired after the GSB fight, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah retired, exactly. but he's just looking for the next big fight. Yeah. If, if yeah. Nick the versus fight, Nate, oh dude, man, that, would that would be sick. awesome. That would be like it although, could happen. Although I'm pretty sure if you talk to them about it, they'll just be like, "Oh yeah, we do that every day in the backyard." Yeah, but if it <laughs> v- involves money, it's like, "Hey man, just let's give bring me. it. <laughs> let's bring it." That's I don't know. Sick. Personally, I don't think they'd fight. I don't think they'd yeah, take yeah, a fight. Yeah, we I mean, never you know. never know. Well, you imagine the Noguera brothers fighting? They don't even want to fight uh, Anderson that Silva. Would, how do you score it's that? Like fighting a mirror. It's like who? <laughs> the winner. Because they look <laughs> the The winner. One of them. Jerry! One of them. The whole Oh, like Jerry, one is Rodrigo. Oh, oh, one Rodrigo. of them should be wearing like neon shorts, oh. just so you could tell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it like yung Saragrat, si Phil and Lil? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what's next with uh, with Gray Maynard and Nate Diaz? Well, for Gray, 
we've talked about it. We don't know yet. Yeah, Nate moves up. He just, moves up. Nate moves he just up. needs to bounce back. For mm-hmm. Nate Diaz, he's been interviewed, and I don't know if it was a jab at Dana White, but he said something like, "Well, I guess maybe I'll just sit out till someone gets yeah. injured again." Yeah, <laughs> which yeah. is you know, well, which is uh, which is true. I mean, uh, but the, you know, the Diaz brothers are going to be the Diaz brothers. Yeah, yeah speak their they, mind. They'd say everything. And hey, anything I, I could see, fun. I could see Gray Maynard fighting Jim Miller. Hmm. That would be that, that would be an be interesting fight. I don't yeah. think so. I don't. That'd think be so. an interesting. That would fight. be interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deba <laughs> right? or Lozon. In terms of stand up, that'd be. Man, you throw in Lozon. All these guys. You throw in Gillard. All yeah. of these guys, man. There is no lack. Yeah. Me, Gillard's an up and down kind of guy. You know, it's like I win, I lose, I win, I lose. <laughs> and he's still on the <laughs> roster, and, he, yeah. and he's always exciting, even he in the losses. It. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ross yeah. Pearson, man. Wala, mahirap talaga. Joe Silva. Yeah. People Solid. are saying uh, that uh, Nick, Nick, no Nate. Nate, Nate, Nate is back in the title mix. I wouldn't I think say so. that just oh. yet for me, yeah, because for sure. he's coming from two losses. He, he definitely mm-hmm. moves up. Definitely, yeah. He, yeah, definitely. For me, yeah, he's, yeah, he's with he's his performance mix, now. But, yeah. Uh, maybe not, not. Not yet the title shot. I agree with you on that. Yeah, yeah. I agree with you on that. Because mm-hmm. you may, may, you have you have Thompson, you have the Punk Thompson versus. Smooth Benson Henderson. Yeah. Yeah. And mm-hmm. you know, from there who who gets a shot at the loser of that fight? You know what I mean? Yeah. Who's still ranked pretty high. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So and you have Pettis. Yeah, who's sure. injured so yeah. Melendez, you have Melendez oh, well, who yeah. won. It's pretty hard, man. And you have you have talks of um Conor McGregor mm-hmm. who wants to move up and you know, I saw this on Twitter the uh, Diego Sanchez fifty five. Okay. Diego's fighting at seventy, moves down fifty five, McGregor forty five. Uh-huh. 55, it could happen. Yep. Man, 55 stacked. 55 stacked. Agree, agree. All right, so <coughs> we'll see more on what happens to Nate and Gray Maynard and the other UFC news. Gray but, uh I just remembered, sorry, but I just remembered a uh, shout out out there. Mm-hmm. Um, he's off life support. You, you yes. wrote about Yes, Shane this. Del Rosario. Del Rosario, you wrote about this on... I thought Dojo he died, Dojo. died man. I'm sorry yeah. for... Man, I thought he a died. Lot of people thought a he lot was of dead. people actually announced it, that he was dead. Because it came out the pattern, he's, he's technically dead. What, what, yeah. the, what the fuck is technically there dead? There's no brain activity. That's what they report. Yeah. But what was it? What, I mean, what happened to him? Full cardiac was, arrest. Yeah, cur- yeah, it was a rare case of a cardiac problem. This is Shane Del Rosario, <laughs> UFC heavyweight. Yeah. He's not yeah, fat. He's not a fat heavyweight. Yeah. He's yeah. in shape, but... Yeah. I, I read somewhere yeah, part Filipino at that say. Everyone's uh, part Filipino. Uh, ah, Everyone's go, part Filipino. BJ Penn. BJ Penn's full Filipino. That's yeah. Juliana Pena. Yeah, yeah uh, Filipino. Like who didn't make weight? The Ultimate Fighter Gutierrez. Yeah. Filipino. <laughs> Everyone's uh, so anyway. so, uh, Damn, where was I? Shane Del Rosario. Yeah, yeah, uh, Filipino. Uh, there was an, uh, an announcement that he has brain activity. They took him off life support. He could breathe by himself. He could uh, okay. squeeze his mother's hand. Things for like sure. that. But there's progress, and this is great news. Yeah, great, great news for him and his family. For Shane I hope you pull Rosario. through, big gay. I hope yep, you pull through. Yep, and Amen. you know, uh, to the family of the, to the Del Rosario family and Dojo Drifters here, uh, yeah. we're, we're supporting you and your family and the fighter, of course, Shane Del Rosario. Mm-hmm. Um, well, keep the tweets c- coming in, but also keep the prayers coming yep. in for Del Rosario. All I can say, that's what a fighter is built. You know, that's yeah. how a fighter he is keeps built. Fighting, fighting. Yeah. for sure, for sure. Fighting. All right, so that's it for the show. What's next? What's, What's next? next? next um, Man, big, big weekend. events is this again. Friday? Is this Friday? Friday, Friday, again. Friday, night. Yes, Friday night. Friday. Big, big events again. Uh, one of the biggest outfits in the world, One FC, and the is, number one in Asia. Yes, the number one in Asia. Suck it, UFC. No, just kidding. Whoa! <laughs> what? One what? FC Don't hire this motherfucker. One FC fan. <laughs> you know one what? I love fan. you. Boom. Victor Kui. One Victor Kui. But yeah, uh, moment of truth in mm. Malovesia Arena, December 6th. Yes, sir. Who's headlining? Headline is uh, Koji Uishi. He's uh, trying rematch. to defend his title the in rematch. a rematch against Honorio Banario, our very own. Honorio Banario of Team Lakai. Uh, Pretty, pretty stacked card. You've got Edward Falayang fighting yes. uh, Vincent Latowell, Latowell. Yeah. Uh, an Indonesian um, nether, uh, Danish fighter. Uh, an Indonesian Danish. Netherlands a Danish fighter. Cookie? Holland, Holland <laughs> fighter. A yeah. Whatever. Yeah, great. But yeah. You have Kevin Bellingon on there. You Kevin know what Bellingon Bruce Lee says there. about that? 
Don't is... judge the water. <laughs> you were going to eat a biscuit. <laughs> what? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, he said that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you got <laughs> Kevin. Uh, yeah, Kevin, Kevin Billingon, Billingon. The silencer. Yeah, I got gravity. The silencer. Gravity. Else, you, you stuck your. Yeah. Um, oh, against Eugene, another Filipino, yeah, Eugene, Eugene Toquero. So that should be a good fight. Uh, who else? Uh, Alain Ngalani. Alain Ngalani. So these people African have... Guy, African guy. Colosa is fighting. There's a guy? Yeah. He's a guy? I thought he was a... Uh, no. He's the freaking girl. huge. No, the girl that's fighting on the card is Jujaith Nagawa from Team okay. Nakaya. Yeah, well. but they, she's off was the card. Was this the guy who was holding the I pads? I did not know this. She's off the card because Why? of a medical suspension something. So Why? She'll make her debut in 2014. That was a press release. So, wala na. Sorry to bring it to you. Update. Update. No, she's, yeah. she's not on the, she's so not no, on the card. So, no girls on the card? <coughs> uh, not that I know of. Well, yeah. check out check out any updates on that card on dojodrifter.com. Who's the big? Was this the guy who was holding the, the pads? pads for the, I thought he was Melvin Manhoff. The guy looks yeah, like Melvin. Yeah, He's yeah, massive. Yeah, yeah. He's massive. Friggin' dude. Wild dude. That's gonna be a great heavyweight so, fight. So, like what I said, Shit. come on, watch watch Shit. this. Watch Moment of Truth. Stacked stack <sighs> card full of Filipinos, and you know that's what. Why is it called Moment of Truth? Because, uh, as we all know, or as some of you know. Uh, a lot of the fighters, a lot of the Filipino fighters lost last last one FC. Mm -hmm. Actually, all of them lost one FC. Last one Sadly, FC. Yeah. So Where are you all, laughing? They're all. <laughs> Where are you laughing? No, no, no I'm just saying. Guys, because I made a mistake. Choke him uh, out. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, all of them are back in this card, yeah. and they're out for blood. You're man. still oh, laughing. Yeah. You're still no, laughing. Okay, okay, sorry, and sorry. Best of luck to Team Lakay. All of the Team Lakay fighters are yeah, fighting man. there. Oh. So all, of, I mean, all of the Filipino fighting there are from Team Lakai except for Tokero. But the yeah. lie detector said you're lying. <laughs> but yeah, good luck. Good you luck to Team Lakai on that. Yeah. Another fight that's happening this weekend is UFC Fight Night uh, Hunt versus Sick. Bigfoot. Bigfoot Silva. Is this the same Hunt? card? No. Someone's gonna immortal? get down. Immortal oh, Condit? Uh, well, no, 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 no. It's a different card. Uh, Hunt versus the Immortal Silva. card is gonna yeah. happen after that. the week yeah, after the, that. The main December event 14th. of this one is Shogun and Tehuna. Shogun and Tehuna. So those are great step fights. Step down, as you said. Step, so step down, down for Shogun. Pat Barry's Pat fighting on, on this fight. Yeah, man. Yeah. Solid. Wild way. Looking forward to that. Someone's getting knocked out. Definitely. Obviously, in 1FC, we're all rooting for Kevin Billingon in the main card. Unless yeah. predictions. Unless otherwise, no, no. Okay, um, well, on. Kevin Billing on UFC Fight Night: Hunt versus Bigfoot. Oh, predictions, mo. Hunt. Hunt. What oh, round? Hunt. Hunt. Second round TKO. Silva. Second round submission. Boom. Oh, <laughs> Dude, <laughs> okay. oh it can happen. 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 Oh, Hunt. Yeah. First round knockout. Don't know. But having, uh, I, I, I having will be the prophet. I see ya. I see ya. We'll see, but right? yeah, but, but having said that, oh well, man, no? stand with him, like, right? Bigfoot bringing down Hunt, Ish. black belt or Jiu Jitsu, most likely going for the submission. But we'll see, maybe. We'll see. So, what's Dude, gonna happen if Hunt happens, wins? I will be the prophet. prophet. I will be the prophet. prophet. MMA prophet. If Hunt wins, you wear your lumberjack shirt. I'm wearing it now. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Don't reveal it yet. Don't reveal huh? it yet. Oh, if Hunt shit. wins, okay. if Hunt wins, okay. lumberjack shirt, okay. next show. Okay. No one, <laughs> wants no, one wants to call, no one wants to call in for Why these. Why, Sire? I'm well, going to call. Spanky is gonna show I'm his guns next lum week. No. Spanky is going to show his guns next week. Hunt via KO. No, not gonna happen. Ladies no, and gentlemen. No, so submission. Hey, All right. Oh. So I guess with that, we end Dojo Drifter Live. Yes. Every Monday, 1 p.m. Catch us again next week yeah, for guys. the latest and the hottest MMA news in the world today. I am Oji. I am Spanky. This is Gab. And we are Dojo Drifter Live. If Silva wins, Oji will wear his lumberjack shorts. <laughs> MMA all day, baby. Bye, guys. See you next week. Bye. See you next week. <laughs>